This is Plus TV Africa, where big stories live. Welcome to Tea Time, where we'll bring you the biggest entertainment stories and very interesting personalities in the world of entertainment. My name is Osi Godwin, and I've got my co-anchors with me, Ewa Oluwa Ritu and Ife Oluwa Oshokaye. Star girl. Badly Nigerian. Star girl. Hmm. <sighs> Blue white green. Today's your day. The star is so much. I don't understand. As in, you are shining. Thank you. You're a star. Can't you just do it like a classy way? Good, man. She's always looking good. Always looking Looking good. Okay. This if you're, you're, looking, good. you're looking good. Oh, oh always. Always. It's always, <laughs> always, 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 always. I look good. You always. never disappoint. Mm, shake on, shake on. Thank you very much for how to yeah, kind. Tata. Do you know what Tata is? Mm? Do you know what yeah, Tata is? Yes, car, is a bus that goes to Koyoju. Oh, oh, that's what you have. Good. <laughs> good. All right, let's start with the good news. That Sugar Rush is back in the cinema after one week ban. The news was announced by the producer of the movie, Jade Oshiberu, via her Instagram page. In her post, she thanked everyone who reached out during the ban. She went on to thank the executive director of the NFVCB, Alhaji Adedayo Thomas, for helping get the movie back in the cinema. Oh, I mean, am I the only one excited about ah, this? You what's what's <laughs> it now? Yeah. So. Oh, you've seen it, right? Yeah, I, I can tell. Yeah, I'm excited because I have plans on seeing it. So maybe this weekend I will just go see it. Mm -hmm. if, uh, are you doing the same? No, I'm not going to see it till. Um I mean, but I don't think I'll go to the cinema to go see Sugar Rush, but um, obviously I want to see it. So why do you want to see it if you don't see it? I don't know. Maybe my girlfriend's house. She always has new movies. I don't know if she gets them. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. They are coming for her. They are coming for her. Okay. I mean, that's good news. But I just don't think I'll go to the cinema. No, I'm not like I won't go to the cinema to see a Nigerian movie, but I think people have told me, they've given me too much spoiler alert mm. for me to go and watch it. Do you I, know I hope that? I'm not part of those people. Yes, you are part of That's them. Like, I feel like I know the whole story me. already. So I mean, I don't you think can I... tell me the whole story, yeah, but then I still want to watch them. Are you one of those people that when you're watching, I ah, watch you, then this guy will soon do this, like I, I do that thing when I'm watching a movie. It's like and someone telling, telling you or you telling yeah. someone. Like we're watching a movie together and you're telling, because you've seen it before, you now start telling me what's going to happen Well, sometimes next. I can't be like that. No, please don't. I'll just be like, no, 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 calm down, Joe, they will not kill I don't like that. Okay, <laughs> but big shout out to um, Sugar Rush because yeah. um, the ban has been it, has it been lifted or it has been they they finalized their um, approval mm. so this the final approval so the movie will be in the cinemas for as long as, as it, it should, should be, be. Mm -hmm. so I think this good news but a part of me thinks that this is a stunt for you to talk more about this movie and get more people to go and see the movie because now they've created a lot of buzz around this movie already mm. and more people will rush to the cinema you see that the cinema is going to be shut down this weekend because people want to go and see Sugar Especially Rush. because of the um, EFCC controversy that came in. EFCC, into... okay. Yeah, you know. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Me, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you saying so, that was so like, like I'm coming to carry me. Please don't give it to me, friend. Don't be scared. <laughs> no, but you know the EFCC controversy that mm -hmm. the, the way they were portrayed. Personally, I want to see what exactly EFCC did. Okay, and I can't wait to hear what you think about that. Well, let's move on to the next story because we have a guest. Peruzi replies his former boss, Patrick Anyane. He claims that his former boss made him lose 27 songs and sold his songs with without his consent, while also admitting that he was signed under Golden Boy Entertainment. Mm -hmm. if I... Okay, so this um, comes, like we said yesterday, there are three sides to, this, to a story, my side, your side, and the truth. Mm -hmm. Now we're beginning to get other sides of the story, especially mm -hmm. when David Doe is also being dragged into this, because um, the guy said David Doe did him as much wrong as, as um, Peruzzi, because mm -hmm. um, he knew it was signed to him and he, and he was, was using, using his songs. songs. He wasn't giving him royalty. And then I saw the leak of fire. Mm -hmm. Do you know that it's, it's just... just fire. I think about two songs. Yeah, but the one he actually dropped mm -hmm. the receipt for was fire. And it was an exact lift. Yeah. Same beats, same lyrics. Like, he didn't the tweak was anything. Just it was ju yeah. yeah, it was just a delivery. Though. And I think... It's okay to have ghostwriters, mm. but at the end of the day, make some input. That's what I feel. If you have, if you must have a ghostwriter, no, but you know make, we didn't listen to like the full track, so mm. maybe the input. Maybe wasn't the part, yeah. Yet. Okay, well, that's possible. Maybe like the second verse mm. or something. Okay, okay, that's another angle to look. But I just didn't like the fact that it was an exact lyric. Okay, for me, whether it was that's, exact that's, or that's not, not even the did point. Did you not dance to the song? <laughs> right. No, for me, I don't think. Um, 
Perez's statement does not, it still doesn't put him in any good light right now for me. I don't think that was his aim, because if that was his aim, then he should try again. everything he said was just bypass. Do not be you saying. And you get, like. What does he even mean? Does he mean, so he said you, the issue. Signed. Did he pay deal. your school fees? Did he help you? I mean, that's why I said, you know, yes, let's, let's, even change. Change. let's even forget the <laughs> sentiment of helping you pay your school fees. Anybody can do that, right? But at the end of not the day, anybody can. It takes a good ass. But people, that. At the end of people, the day, people. something was signed. Mm. And he has come out to agree and admit that you signed a contract. Mm. Have you Met your own obligation of the contract. That's I'm the not. Question. I'm not supporting Perizzi right now, but we all hurt differently. Imagine I'm I'm, I'm your signee, right? Mm -hmm. And then I start recording songs, and then you start selling it to Nollywood for scores. You start selling it to other. No, no. Artists. I think Perizzi's pen would even come more from breaking 27 songs. Do you know? Do you maybe one you of the creative songs that to make a you know. Song, it's, and then you now break the computer. I have 27 songs. Because you have issues So with I'm not your supporting Perizzi. I'm just saying that okay, I think some truth is coming to light. We are mm. beginning to get the full picture, and I think more will still come out because as the bass boost is going, the boost bass will be coming. But I don't so. like the way. Um, um, I don't. I don't like the way Perus is handling it. I mean, if you really think that you have a point or you have a reason why all this happened, maybe you should come and explain. Of course, you will go to court and then you go and answer why you breached a contract. Mm -hmm. But if you want, you know, people's sympathy and let people understand where you're coming from, because we we'll just say, oh, you know, people react to things differently. I don't think he wants any but then, sympathy because he used the word stupid and that people should keep believing what they see online. They mm. keep being stupid at all. I mean, Perusi well, I, well, is Well, I think what he said is actually right. Him, but. My own is when you get to court it's at the end of the day, mm -hmm. it's stressful because he, he, I'm no, that's the thing. I don't know if I'm even sorry, very to say, wrong. But he lacks character. You know, every mm -hmm. time Perusi has a lot been of in celebrities the news, lack it's, I mean, sometimes they step back and allow their PLC more mm -hmm. people handle it, but he keeps handling it his own way and it doesn't, it, it, it usually leaves the bitter taste in the mouth, mm -hmm. right? So, whatever it is, whether they broke your song or they sold your song, mm. take it to court, bring out your receipt, and defend it um, the way it's supposed to be defended. You cannot just come out and say, oh, because you did this. It's just like me coming here to say, oh, maybe because my boss annoyed me, so my obligation in the office, I'm not going to meet it anymore because mm. I'm feeling some type of way. No, emotions doesn't work in business. Fine, he broke your songs. At the end of the day, he's losing, you're losing. Come back to the drawing board, and you, we moved on from there. So No, I but it's not it as easy shot. as you said. Like, I know, when but I'm saying music, music yes. Yeah. That's what I said. When not that guess, yeah, as that, but this is not just the best. This is a legal to case. It's not a sentimental case at the end of the day. Well, yeah, that's what I'm because saying. It's it's not not to you will still tell you the only person who started something. bringing. Okay, now it's sounding like I'm defending parody, but I don't mean. No, you can't. No, 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 no. You don't I'm even. Not, I'm not even I don't even see it as you're defending. No, you're even, just saying it the I'm way it is. I'm not even trying to defend parody, but. um in as much as you feel like we shouldn't bring sentiment into this, the first person that brought sentiment into this is Patrick. Because mm. um, Perusic too can be saying that, oh, I was really hurt, I lost 27 songs. I was really hurt, um, you're talking about the house you that you lived in after you signed me. Because we all know that part of, most times, part of the um, agreement of a contract, mm -hmm. especially when you sign an artist, is that you give them accommodation, mm -hmm. you give them clothing allowance. Mm -hmm. So all these clothes, Patrick has been saying, I clothed him, I, sh I gave him shelter. Was it part of the deal? Now, he needs to explain that part. What I'm, what I'm saying that a lot of truth is beginning to come to light, and mm -hmm. I believe that with time, we will get the full picture, because if Patrick really wants to play this game, then he should be ready to go all out. I mean, I think that the best way they can play this game is just go to court. They're already yeah, in court. Yeah, and, I mean, so, they should No, keep, it's they not yet in court, actually. It actually is. They're not yet in court. They're processing going to court. Mm. According okay, to their lawyer. That, but that's not what I've been saying. Anyway, it's time for a quick break. But before that happens, here's something for all cake and pastry lovers. Do visit Race and Pocente. Um, they've got wedding cakes, cupcakes, birthday cakes, and so much more. That's at Race and Pocente Cakes on Instagram. Make sure to check them out. You get to find out who our guest is right after this break. Mm -hmm.